Hi everybody. There was such good results from the tutorial I made on the BIB playing a keyboard and a number of interesting questions that came up from people that saw the video and felt they wanted to go into it a little bit further. So I thought I'd make a part two follow-up. I've learned a couple of new things about the uh, setup that I described in my first tutorial that I think is worth passing on to you. Uh, number one, I learned that uh, you can play the keyboard while the BIB is playing the keyboard so that you get uh, pretty good sounding uh, music from the results. You're playing on top of the BIB's playing. I also got an interesting question about using that performance enhancement, uh, the PAT, and that program, if you're not familiar with it, that PAT is a uh, Yamaha sequence that allows you to record in such a way that the keyboard will not let you play any wrong notes. And that's for people that don't know how to really play the piano and would like to add their own accompaniment to the song in spite of their lack of knowledge. I found out that with a little bit of effort you can met, use this technique that I'm describing to be able to use PAT and get uh, to play the, a keyboard along with the BIB playing it to where it sounds pretty professional because the keyboard only allows you to play those notes that will harmonize with the chord being put into the song by the BIAB. So without any further delay, let's get started. Just a quick recap on the setup that I described in tutorial number one, part one of this sequence. You'll notice that on BAAB I took all of the voices in the column here with the arrows pointing and muted them so that the uh, BIAB doesn't play the music from the sound card in the in the laptop that's feeding this uh, program. We want the BIAB to play a keyboard. So we have to shut down all of the instruments in the uh, computer program except for solos where the MIDI instructions are being passed on into the keyboard. Also in this we want to make sure that in the BIAB and the preferences in band in a box we have the output channel hit on vocalist so that the message from the computer will be passed on to the keyboard. On the keyboard you want to make sure that external is showing up on the dashboard here and to get that you want to go to function, function button here, press the MIDI and make sure the clock external is energized and that you press this edit button which is this button here and that all of the channels are checked so that the keyboard knows it should receive MIDI information from the computer on these channels. Also remember that the selection on the heading must be chord detect as I show here. That's all described under tutorial number one, part one of this uh, sequence I'm making. Finally you have to make sure that the uh, Accompaniment button is energized, lit, and that the uh, sync start button is lit so that the keyboard will know it's time to make music. So let's play a song here. Let's go with uh, the song I've got on there now, which happens to be Foolish Heart. Press the start button. We'll start this uh, BIB playing a keyboard in a Latin beat. You can see the bossa nova. Whoops. And 
So I change it to a party. Change this to and the background sound. The first thing we'll show in this part two tutorial is how vocal harmony works while BIAB is driving the piano. Remember that the computer sends chords into the computer into the keyboard and therefore vocal harmony will use those chords being sent in by the computer to harmonize your voice. Let me show you an example of that. We'll play a slow bossa version of Foolish Heart. We'll show you how vocal harmony works with the BIAB. Like a lovely soon, beware my foolish heart. How wide the ever constant moon. Take care, my foolish heart. So while the song is being played by VIAB on the keyboard, you can play chords to add sounds. I will do that here. For those that were interested in using the PAT, Performance Assisted Technology, that uh, Yamaha offers, uh, I was not able to do that while the song was being played by the Tyros, uh, by the computer, excuse me. You, I had to know the chords to make my finger playing match the song. But if I record the performance that the BIAB is allowing on the keyboard. If I record it in the uh, MIDI section of the keyboard, I can then play it back and use PAT to allow me to strum out chords and melodies and other enhancements to the song, which I shall demonstrate now. I can set the uh, keyboard up so that I can record the performance I'm getting from the BIAB playing the Yamaha by using my MIDI section recording. I will start the song now and start recording now. The light shows me that I'm getting a song recorded. I'll play a few bars of that. Once you've recorded the song into the MIDI section and saved it, I, I label this one new song number two. I can now play it back. So we're all set for the PAT demonstration. To set up for the PAT recording uh, demonstration, you first must go to the Functions button again, the one on the right of the screen. Press Song Settings, and in the far left and lower corner, you'll see PAT, <coughs> Performance Assisted Technique. I think it stands for. Put that on that press the button so it's on, from off to on, and you're all set for PAT. Now the piano, the keyboard, will play only those chords and notes that are satisfied by the chords of the song being played. The demonstration goes something like this. Playing 
the same chord. It always matches the song, you know. It'll play is ones that are lined up with the chords of the song when it's set up with the PAT. I don't get I don't get the regular scale as it shows. So with this tutorial, you've learned that we can play the keyboard along with the song being played by the BIAB on the keyboard. As long as you know the chords to play or the right notes to play, it'll sound pretty good. The other thing we learned is that you can vocalize and sing along with the song being played by the BIAB and get full harmony effect with the accuracy of the chords uh, put into it by the computer and the BIAB. We also learned that if you wanted to, you could record the uh, BIAB performance on the MIDI section of the keyboard and use that with the PAT, Performance Assisted Technology, to be able to play the keyboard without worrying about what notes you hit. The notes you hit will always harmonize and be compatible to the chords being played by the BIAB, which is quite a good feature for those that can't play the keyboard but would like to use their fingers while they're uh, playing this song. You can get to see my tutorial one, the first one I made, uh, if you go to YouTube and check out Rocconi, R-O-C-O-N-I. You'll see a number of songs I put on that particular page. I included the one that shows B-I-A-B being uh, playing a keyboard. I think you'll want to review the video one so that this new video, part two tut tutorial, will uh, be a little bit more meaningful. With that, we'll say goodbye for now and check back with you later.